Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back another Fortnite video. In today's video, I will be absolutely abusing the meta here in Season 5. It is such a good gameplay. You guys need to stay to the end of this video. Me and my boy TSA putting in absolute work this game. You guys don't want to miss any of it. And before we get into the video, if you guys could, drop a like in this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turn on those post notifications so you're notified every single new video. And alright guys, let's get right to the video. Alright, so Fortnite Season 5 is probably the worst season of all time, and I'm going to show you guys exactly why this season is probably the most trash season of all time, right? So, I'm playing Fortnite here, and I'm like, yo, bro, T-Save, like, you trying to play like complete cancer and do things that everybody complains about here in Season 5? He's like, yeah, I bet, let's do it. So, you know what? In this gameplay, we did exactly that. We thought of every possible cancer Season 5 thing that we could think of. And we did, I think we did everything in this game, and we even got some pretty solid hate messages for it too. So, you know, if you're getting hate messages, you're doing something right. You know, you, I mean, you're not getting hate messages after you lose, you know what I'm saying? So, you're only getting hate messages when you win. So, we did something right, and we took some dubs. And just to start off in this game, we got one of these guys down, and we hit him with a little jig. My boy T safe hit him with a little jig, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we clapped his cheeks, and then we hit him with a little jig, hit him with little dance moves. You know, give him a little thumbs down. You know, we're just completely trolling this guy. You know, give him some more thumbs down. Give him some Z's. You know, slight work on this man. So, you know, we're just trolling this guy. But come on now, his teammate's not even showing up. Where's his teammate at? I'm, I'm gonna hit this dude with some more moves. His teammate's not coming. A little sauce it up on this B. I just got it from the battle pass. You already know. Bing this man a couple times with my pickaxe. Get the finish in him. So that's already one kill. That is the first cancer thing we did there. Get the down and then dance on him. Hit with the little jigs. Hit with the little dance move. Thumbs down. Z's. Dude, we, I mean, we're just out here trolling on this guy. But me and my boy T-Save, we're trying to win this game. I'm like, yo, T-Save, what do we got to do next? He's like, yo, I don't really know. I'm like, yo, I got an idea. I got an idea. So I was like, yeah, we got to get as much to as possible. Because at the end of the game, we got to camp in the most solid one by one and just dog on the last guy. But as I was saying that, you won't believe what I've seen in this vending machine. You know, check my eyes. I'm rubbing them. I, I'm trying to see. It has a minigun. 300 wood. Say less. Say less, Epic. 300 wood. That's a bet. Slight work. I'm getting this minigun. I'm rocking up these wood pouts. I'm going to get that minigun. And my boy T-Say about to get a minigun. Double minigun up in this V. It's going to be such a good game. And that's what we've been doing the entire game. We were dogging on kids with this minigun. You guys are about to see. It's absolutely hilarious. And a GG for everybody we ran into. I was out collecting some wood, and one guy came to Junk Junction. I don't even know where this guy came from, but we had to give him the work. Clap his cheeks right on the spot. Easy dub. Well, I don't know what you were doing there, but either way, at this point, I have enough wood to get the minigun. So that's what me and my boy T-Save about to do. He has enough wood. I have enough wood. We about to buy this vending machine, get the minigun. Yeah, my boy hitting a few times, grabbing the minigun. That's one minigun. Time for mine. Hit it a few more times, grab the minigun, and we both got miniguns, boys. You already know what's up. And at this point, we knew this game was about to be a solid gameplay. We both had miniguns. We both came from Junk Junction. What more can you ask? This was about to be a solid gameplay. But the circle is kind of far, so right here, we go to the rifts. From these rifts, we're going to be taking this rift all the way to the factories right outside of Loot Lake. So from here, we go to the factories and there was a team there, which was perfect because at this point, we were low on ammo. But after this gunfight here, we about to get a little bit of ammo, boys. I get one knock on that guy and the second guy is all the way over there. I get a few towers on him. He's white. He's pretty low. So I'm like, yo, bro, we got to push this guy. The play here was me for just to distract this guy until my boy T-Save pushes and gets the high ground on this guy. So I distract this guy just for a little bit. I didn't have much ammo at all. But as my boy T-Save building up, I just constant spray into this wall. Nothing you can do. T-Save gets that kill on that guy. That is a GG. And we about to get a ton of ammo from these guys. These guys found a llama right before we ran into him. So we got a total each. We had 300 shots that are in minigun each. And that was enough to get something started. So right now, just going to the circle, the circle is pushing us out, and as soon as we get out of the circle, that is when the magic is going to happen. Right here, we get out of the circle, we see our first victims right in front of us east, two players in front of us, and right now, I'm just going to get a few tags on this guy, and then me and T-Save about to whip on the minigun on these guys, and this is where the OG play starts to happen, T-Save in the back with the minigun, clapping his cheeks, I'm there clapping his cheeks, knock him, his teammate can get the work too. 
TC was like, yo, bro, I got a few tackling this guy. Let's push him. So I'm like, all right, bet. Let's push this guy. So I ramp up here. I could pull out my shotgun, but I'm like, yo, what am I doing? Let me just thirst his teammate real quick and then pull out the minigun on this guy. This guy's trying to get a few tags on me, but I'm just going to sit back, not challenge at all. And TC battle with the minigun on the guy. He's like, yo, bro, I got a few tags on him. At this point, this guy had absolutely no chance. Me and T Sabe, both of the miniguns. I glitched that guy's ramp. And I'm just spraying this guy down. T Sabe gets the kill. GG, boys. Too easy. And to be quite honest, I'm not too sure what I was getting messages about. I really don't know. I was just playing season five, just the way it's supposed to be played. Going for kills, playing fair. I didn't cheat in any way. So I have really no idea. It was really uncalled for. I'm kind of upset about it. But, you know, is what it is. People are going to hurt your feelings. It's all right, though. We're going to keep moving on. We're going to win this game. Next team you run into, I see a guy on top of this house. Get a couple shots on this guy. Get the knock on him. Unfortunately, he couldn't build on the building. But we get the knock on him. And next is his teammate. And we see his teammate right over here. I jumped down, see this guy behind the rock, and at this point, this, knew, this dude knew he was dead. I was tagging the absolute mess out of him with the minigun. GG, bro. I, I already said GG before I even killed him. Too easy, bro. Gotta get, you gotta get a little bit better at the game. Maybe next time you can kill me, but GG to you, bro. Me and T-Sabe back at it again, taking dubs. We ain't taking no L's out here with the minigun. You already know how it is. I'm looking over here. I see a perfect opportunity to third party in these fights. There's two teams fighting over there. Get a knock on this guy. Instant thirst. You already know you have to instant thirst if you want to win. Here in season five, at this point, I'm like, yo, T Sabe. You already know what to do. Do it to him. Bing to do with the minigun. And I'm pushing up on this guy. I'll put out my minigun too. 600 ammo. GG, man. This guy, this guy is done for. There's absolutely no chance this guy's coming out of here. T save draining this dude's mats. I'm coming from the side just so I can get an angle on this guy. I pull out my minigun, spray the mats out of this wall. T save getting tags. I'm starting to get tags. This dude is draining out of mats. There's another guy who actually pushes up in this gunfight too. Apparently there was a guy under him or something, but I'm lasering this dude. I dinked this dude a few times. This guy's very, very low. I'm burning through his mats. This guy tried to get a shot at me or something. He's hiding behind a wall. Get the easy kill on this guy. And now it's this guy over here. And me and T save going at it again. No mercy. No mercy on this guy, too. He's like, oh, screw it. I have to challenge. Get the kill on this guy. It is absolutely too easy out here in Season 5. Thank you, Epic. This is the best meta I've ever played in my life. For real, though, huge shout out to Epic. Thank you so much for nerfing the building. Thank you so much for not nerfing the LMG and the, and the miniguns and all the stuff in between. You're the GOAT, Epic. Much appreciated. Thank you for not nerfing a steel one by one, but thank you for nerfing wood and nerfing shotguns, too. Thank you for all that stuff, Epic. You guys are the GOAT. Much appreciated, guys. So, me and T-Save taking dubs out here in Season 5. Making the community a better place because guys that is the ultimate goal I want to make the community a better place and a happier place for everybody and I'm doing that just by playing how season 5 should play, just by going by all the rules, not cheating, playing very fair, and I just want to make the community a better place, I want to bring everybody together, and I truly believe me and T-Safe are making a huge difference in this community, especially with the love and support we have been getting back from this community. Alright, so here there is only one guy left, it is a 2v1, and I'm like, yo bro, let's build a 1x1 one one made of metal so it cannot be shot down, and he's like, alright, bet, let's do it. So we build out here 1x1s, one at this point we build both 4 high 1x1s, one one. there's only one other player left, and we're playing this as fair as possible. At this point, we've been sitting up in these 1x1s one one for a solid minute to minute and a half, just waiting for the other player, playing, playing quality. He's over here shooting grenade launcher, so me and T-Safe going to work on this guy, draining his mats. He actually knocked down my structure with some grenades. That was the only way he could have knocked down my structure because he was not shooting it down. But either way, T-Save was keeping up the pressure. GG, bro. I'm out here getting a few tags. T-Save out here getting a few tags. Picking at this dude's shield. Make sure they're making sure this guy has zero mass by the time we are finished shooting at this guy. So we're ripping through him. I've probably spent about 400 LMG ammo. Absolutely not a problem though because I can shoot non-stop without having to reload or any breaks at all So really fair play right here. This guy starts to run away. So we push up just a little bit We are in perfect circle because that's just how it works in Fortnite Obviously we get the perfect circle and this guy's over here and we're gonna keep up more pressure because this guy keeps trying to run away from us I don't know why he can't fight us like bro. Just come on to shoot at us I don't know what he's trying to do, but this guy just keeps building away and at this point, this dude has to be running through, I don't even know how many mats. Like, T-Save shot 400 rounds, I shot 400 rounds. 
we were just ripping through this guy's mats. Apparently, this guy just really wasn't that good of a player because he couldn't do anything. I don't know why. Like, we weren't even doing anything that bad. We were just shooting at him, and he just couldn't do anything. So, I don't even know why this guy didn't make a play on us. He just wanted to sit back and run away. I don't even know why. But either way, the circle's about to come in in 45 seconds. We're wondering why this guy won't challenge at all. You know, he's just kind of running back. I'm not sure at all. You know, I'm just burning through this guy's mats. Playing the game completely fair. I just have 800 rounds in my AR. No problem. Why don't I just shoot it? If I have 800 rounds, why am I not going to shoot? So now we're trying to figure out where this guy went because he was just hiding behind some walls. And then he finally decides to push. We see him out here trying to push up a little bit. I'm getting, I'm just going to keep spraying at his walls. Playing the game completely fair. 800 rounds in my AR. Shooting non-stop. T-safe shooting non-stop. Absolutely dogging on this guy. And this guy, he's out of mats. He's out of mats. GG. That is a quality play in season five right there. No mats. I don't know how he didn't have any mats. We barely shot at him. Rule number one, you can't go into the final circle with not enough mats. You got to get your mats up. That was a quality example of why you need to have your mats up. Like, come on, bro. It's not that difficult. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on my post notifications so you're notified every single new video. And alright, guys, I will see you in the next video.